Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Mancor. Today's video is going to be around the importance of a mentor in your lives. So if you are new, if you are new here, the Mancor is a community that is built specifically for men who are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. We cover three topics, that is masculinity, health, and relationships. Subscribe to the channel today and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We would love to have you as a part of the community here, building better men for the future. So again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, today's, it, today's topic is going to be around the importance of having a mentor uh, and that, uh, that leader in your life. Um, at the tail end of the last video that I did, I kind of uh, you know re reinforced the idea and highlighted the idea and the importance and value of having somebody who can uh, much like a coach can or you know a, a mentor can help you to you know navigate through the issues or challenges that that you've not only dealt with in the past but that you're currently dealing with to help you um, you know kind of get out of your own way. A lot of the times that you know. Um, where I think men get into a bit of trouble is when they they don't really feel like it's it's in their best nature or they're they're not they don't see it as a strength or as a strong quality to reach out for help. It's why men don't stop and ask for directions most of the time. You know, it's kind of the I have it. Um, I you know I don't I don't need any help. I'm self reliant. I'm strong enough to do this on my own. And you know I've I've dealt with that too. Part of that's ego that we're that we're contending with. Um, so it's not you know something that that you're alone in facing. But um, to try and you know navigate troubled waters on your own uh, for too long, I think that uh, has a detrimental effect not only to your success but your happiness. And um, what I want to talk about today is really why it's important that we think about mentors and you know why it's okay for us to you know, seek out the guidance and, uh, you know, really want to uh, work with somebody who is not only a mentor, uh, you know, be it spiritually, financially, in business and relationships and, um, you know, physical health, emotional health, whatever the case may be, uh, why it's okay for us to, and why we should be encouraged to reach out to have the help and guidance and support of, uh, of other people and, and namely men. So, um, in the past, I've sought out some um, some help, uh, some therapy actually, uh, in the aftermath of uh, some breakups that I've had. Um, I tend to take things a little too personally, and you know, I, I get very cerebral, so uh, I tend to go up in my head and take things very personally, and and I and I fester on things a lot. It's um, it's a it's a direct correlation that comes from me just having high standards and me expecting a lot for myself and um, you know it just it comes from a real driven place a real motivate a motivating place but it can have very detrimental effects you know I've spent longer time than I needed to you know um, fussing over issues that were really outside of my control and they really didn't warrant as much of my time or energy as, as I gave them um, and so I would, you know, often or in the past, I'd gone out and, you know, searched um, for relationship counselors and, and uh, gotten some some help. And they were they were very they were very good. Um, it wasn't easy to, to make that call. But, you know, looking back, it was it was obviously very valuable to my emotional health. And I'm, and I'm glad I did it um, in both scenarios. What I now realize is that, that they were both women and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, again, they did help me. Um, but what I'm doing this time around in the last video I shared with you that I'm going to be meeting with a mentor um, it, It's really me just Being open and accepting to the fact that like I Don't have all the answers and you know, I get caught up in my own web of bullshit and the the things that you know I fall back to or the old pattern patterns of thinking the old um, you know habits it's easy to fall down in those rabbit holes you know because we're so familiar with them we're so um, they're so innate to to who we are part of it is that we think it's kind of like our identity you know um, but it doesn't have to be 
that way. You know, we, we can, it's okay for us to, you know, want to seek out uh, not only a mentor or, you know, a community of men that can help, you know, help troubleshoot the areas that, that we've gone through. This is what I've dealt with so that we understand that, okay, I'm not the only one that's dealt with this. There are other men out there who, who've had the same issues, who understand where I'm coming from, who, who get that, you know, it's, there's a lot of pressure on men who understand that, you know, there's a lot of expectations that, that men have and that there's a lot that rests on our shoulders. So just from a very, you know, tribal place or a real tribal essence, like I think just having that outlet, having that, you know, oh, he understands where I'm coming from. Um, he can help me or, you know, this person is empathetic towards my struggles because he's been there too. It doesn't mean that the mentor or the coach or, or the, the leader or whatever the, whoever it is, it doesn't mean that they're going to take you where, where they think you should go. Um, a lot of the times it's, it's really just them grabbing you by the hand or, or grabbing you by the collar sometimes and kicking the ass, kicking, giving you a swift kick in the ass to say, Hey, you know, you got this, you can do this. Um, get out of your own way, quit with the negative talk. Um, quit with the dithering and, and dicking around and take action towards what you want. Um, face your fears. Go after what it is that you want. Um, you have the tools. You have the power. You have the belief. Um, it's just you're, you're in your own way. And it happens to me all the time. This is kind of why I'm, I'm meeting with a mentor because over the past couple of weeks, I, I kind of feel like I've, I've been spinning my wheels a little bit and I've been adrift and I haven't really been intentional about... Um, a few different areas of my life and it's um, it's it's in the early stages of you know having uh, kind of a waterfall of negative effects and I want to see to it that it doesn't get worse because if I don't do anything about it if I don't take action much like I just mentioned the first video or the video uh, the previous video the importance of uh, if I don't take action towards you know reducing or eliminating the, the things that I know will cause a spiral in my life. I have nobody to blame but myself. Um, you know, they mentors are important because they, they, they hold you accountable. Um, if you have, if you yourself or if you have friends who, uh, you know, go to the gym, some people need a personal trainer because, or, or a, a workout buddy to go with. Me personally, I, I don't. I, I'm motivated enough and I'm inspired enough to just go on my own. Um, but I know that there's some people that, that kind of need that accountability. Um, you will often hear them say, or I've heard them say a lot of times, like, you know, I didn't feel like going or I was tired, but I know that my personal trainer would, would be disappointed or I know that my personal trainer is expecting me to be there. Same with my workout buddy. I didn't feel like it. I was hungover. I was tired. I had a lot to do. But I know that because my buddy was going to be there, I didn't want to let him down. Um, I still showed up anyway. I still took action. I still showed up anyway. So it's that accountability and holding people's, uh, holding people to their word. And I, as men, that's, that's at the end of the day, that's what we have. We have to, you know, if, if we say we're going to do something, if we commit to doing something, we can't just be wishy-washy about that. We have to be held accountable um, and, and have to have a backbone with things. Um, that's, that's really what masculine energy does. It's, it's um, it's telling the truth and it and it's and it's holding holding to your truth. It's making sure that you know, no matter what happens, that you won't uh, be distracted or or adrift. Uh, if it's in conflict with a truth or a commitment that you've already made, um, we have to uh, fully commit to the things that that we do. We're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna fail as men. That's just part of um, taking action. But it, it's more important that um, that we have somebody that, that can help us and um, grab us by the hand or the collar and kick us in the ass and say, hey, you know, you're not the only one that's dealing with this. There's no reason why you need to um, get down. It's, it, it's understandable why, you know, you do get down. And, you know, I'm here to help you through this. You know, you're not alone in, in facing those things. Um, let's deal with it let's face it 
and you know let's both move beyond it and let's let's work towards a you know a successful outcome and um you know an area that you would feel more fulfilled more happy um and have a better outlook on life um it's it's really uh, you know, arresting or, or surrendering yourself to thinking that, you know, you have it all together or th thinking that it's weak to want to reach out for for help or guidance. It's not. Um, you know, that level of vulnerability and that level of um, surrender is actually, you know, a strength quality. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be, you know, uh, all sunshine and roses and, um, you know, it's going to be a padded environment, you know, it, as guys, you know, we, um, masculine energy grows through challenge. So we need somebody there not to, you know, soften the blow and, you know, kiss the wounds. Um, we need somebody that, that, that allows us to be, um, to work through them and to, to get over them, um, not to forget them, but to move through them, taking action, um, I don't want it to be a, a military situation uh, where it's just ice cold and, you know, I have no depth, um, um, where I'm very, uh, you know, cold emotionally and, and I'm not really healthy in that way. Um, this is really just about me surrendering to, hey, um, I, I don't have all the answers and I need, you know, somebody to hold me accountable, kick me in the ass, set me straight, get me out of my own way, get me out of my own head. Um, to, you know, to let me kind of breathe out some of the issues, a lot of, um, you know, the stories that I tell myself or the paradigms that I'm looking, uh, or the veils that I'm looking through. Uh, it's really about, you know, just having somebody that can, a partner that can help you do those things. So if you have been thinking about getting a mentor or a coach or, um, you know, an advisor of any kind, and it could be in any area of your life, um, don't, don't be, don't be apprehensive to do it because you think it, it's something that makes you look weak or it's not a, a strong quality. Um, it's okay. You know, men need community. We need tribes. A big part of, you know, if you look back before the industrial revolution, men went out to help on the farms and with the agriculture with grandpa and dad, and they spent a lot of time doing that. Then after um, the Industrial Revolution happened, then men went to, the, you know, uh, tend to machines and then now offices and now we know the world as, uh, as it is today. So the, the difference between those two is that men don't spend in as much time as they used to in that, um, that, that tribal community um, area of uh, work and support and leadership and mentorship uh, with other men as they used to. And it's so essential to who we are. It's so essential to, uh, you know, what helps us grow and thrive and, and become um, the highest quality or, or best version of, of a man as we can. So um, know that it's okay. And, you know, if if you have the choice, you know, I'm going to recommend that you reach out to, to, um, to another guy. You know, the mentor that I'm reaching out to and, and I'm meeting with, I think he might even be a couple years younger than me. Um, I'm not really looking at that as much as I'm looking at his credentials and the things that he specializes in. So, um, you know, that's, I do believe in in, in this kind of work and, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping that we can, uh, he can help me, uh, you know, grow and, and kind of get out of my own way. But if it needs to be somebody who's older, more experienced, uh, you know, whatever your preference is, somebody that you're comfortable with. You just need somebody that uh, you feel safe and comfortable with and uh, has your best interest at heart. And there's nothing wrong with reaching out and asking for help. It's, uh, it's okay. We don't have to know all the answers. We don't have to have all the answers. Um, even if our ego uh, likes to tell us that we do or that we shouldn't ask. So, I appreciate you being with me today, gentlemen. Uh, please do like the video, share the video, and share any comments that you have about mentorship, leadership, coaching, what your thoughts are. I do appreciate hearing from each one of you, so thank you very much for your continued support. Uh, I would appreciate if you'd share the channel with anybody that uh, would value greatly from our content. We are building community here for better men for the future, so I appreciate your help in doing so. 
I have to run, but again, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much again for your support, and I will see you on the next video here at the Man Corp. Cheers, fellas.